Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. In this video I will present a different kind of a petroleum boiler. And as you can see I've set up this already. Uh, we're gonna use an oil well for that. Now how does the oil well work? Uh, in vanilla game it would use one kilogram of water per second and convert that into crude oil. And it will multiply the, the mass of it by 3.3 so we're gonna receive 3.3 kilograms of crude oil from just one kilogram of water so what's the plan here uh, basically we've set up a cooling loop here or let's call it a heat transfer loop if you will we are again uh, gonna use all the heat that is stored down here and transfer the heat into this room you can also do this with a volcano for instance you don't need to use uh, thermo aqua tuners for it but if you decide to use aqua tuners for it, you do need uh, access to endgame materials such as thermium. Otherwise it will not work. So we're gonna collect all the heat in this room. The room is covered uh, with hydrogen. And as you can see, the hydrogen is already preheated at 456 degrees Celsius. There's also kind of a big mass inside that, 100 kilograms per tile, you don't need that for your build. It's just because I'm using a sandbox mode. So what we're gonna do is pump all the water out of this room through this heating room using radiant pipes to heat up the water in a very fast matter and then transfer the preheated water to the oil well. Now because we want to preheat the water in this room, as you can see, 456 degrees Celsius, the water would normally convert into steam at that temperature, or even, even along before that temperature. But as a game mechanic, we can make use uh, of to prevent that from happening. Uh, we have a liquid valve set up to one kilogram per second. So basically, the, the liquid pump will pump 10 kilograms per second in here, but the valve will reduce that to just one kilogram per second. So through the entire uh, yeah, heating room, there will just be one kilogram per, t per, per pipe segment, so to say, of liquid. And the game mechanic uh, will prevent uh, the water from converting into steam at that point. So the gradient liquid pipes will not break. So, and the preheated water will enter the oil well at a very high temperature and we will see what happens after that. So, instead of just further talking, I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So, I'm in sandbox mode here. Uh, we're going to add 10 kilograms of water at 27 degrees Celsius. Just going to place that right above the pump. Uh, the game is still paused, as you can see, there's 10 kilograms at 27 degrees here, not more. And then I leave the game running. The water drops in here, gets sucked in by the pump, is now entirely consumed. And the valve will reduce the flow to just 1 kilogram per tile, as you can see. Speed up a little. Now the valve has finished as well, as you can see, it's 10 tiles, 1 kilogram each. And because of there's a lot of heat transfer going on into this room, uh, the water is now at 460 degrees already, which is good. Speed it up a little and check what happens when it finally enters the oil well. Still flowing. Check the temperature again, 559, 500, no, 458, 59. So, and slow down a bit again, Let's, until it, the oil well is finally processing it. Now the first water is entering uh, the oil well, and as you can see, it dropped a little amount of crude oil first, but then the crude oil transferred into per petroleum right away. So let's wait until the water has been processed entirely. As you can see, the 10 kilograms of water have been used entirely now. 
let's see what we got. We got 7.9 here, 8.2, 8.5, 8.8. 8. So let's say that's just 8 kilograms over 4 tiles, so we pretty much re received uh, 32 kilograms, just for a rough calculation. Uh, indeed, it's going to be 33 kilograms of petroleum what we received, because the crude oil uh, or the, the oil well will just transfer the, uh, the hot water by yeah exactly the rate that is mentioned here, 3.333. So, and this is a big thing now. Uh, first of all, we saved uh, the duplicate work for uh, converting the crude oil we would normally receive in the oil refinery. So we don't need the oil re refinery anymore. What we also got is the natural gas, of course. It just it will not uh, emit now because it's still stored. There's still more pressure to go. I mean, I mean, we could force the duplicate to do that now, but believe me, the natural gas is there. And what you can already s uh, additionally see is the conversion rate is very different. Now, if we had a regular setup, uh, we would first uh, multiply the mass of the water by 3.3 for the conversion into crude oil, and then uh, divide the mass by 2, because the refinery needs 10 kg of crude oil oil per second and just emits 5 kilograms of petroleum. So normally w we would receive uh, 16 kilograms of petroleum out of the 10 kilograms water invested, but instead we received 33 kilograms. That's a big deal. So we gained a lot of efficiency through this method. I have to admit there's still a bit of duplicate work to do, of course, with the oil wells. Those have to be emptied or released from the high pressure of the natural gas after a certain amount of time, but still we gained a lot. And also it's less uh, work, dupl duplicate work than uh, in the vanilla game with just converting it in the oil refinery. So I have to admit at this point I made a little calculation. We consume a lot of power here with those uh, three aqua tuners. As you can see, each aqua tuner uses 3.6 or 1.2 kilowatts, and combined they use uh, 3.6 kilowatts. And there's also some extra watts used by the pump and also the oil well. So, and what did we actually receive here? Again, we used uh, 10 kilograms, but those 10 kilograms of water were slowed down to just one kilogram per tile. Uh, per, per second actually, and because of the conversion rate we would receive 3.3 kilograms of petroleum per second. Now let's check that with the petroleum generator for, for a moment. Uh, the petroleum generator uses 2 kilograms of petroleum per second to convert 2 kilowatts. So 3.3 kilograms per second would roughly be one and two thirds of a petroleum generator, so about 3.3 kilowatts of power. And as you can already tell from the three aqua tuners, we would actually lose power if we just used this build uh, and not like a natural source of heat, for instance, a volcano. So I can't actually recommend this build uh, to be used to generate power, because you would actually lose power. But I still can uh, recommend this build for uh, yeah, uh, feeding, for instance, your um, polymer press, because we, you would trade off a little bit of extra power consumption to less duplicant work uh, per to be performed. Yeah. Still could be still a valuable deal. But if you can avoid using aqua tuners, I recommend to do so. We'll do this build with, um, yeah, with a volcano instead. Now, one more thing to add: um, there has to be a lot of uh, temperature regulation done into this room. I, I don't have that added to the system, so pretty much this is probably not stable, as the room is heating up stronger than uh, the water would. Uh, yeah, drag the heat out, out of the system. So you need a little automation when to run the aqua tuners and when not, and probably also for the pumps as well. 
Um, and additionally, I have another idea. You could, instead of uh, heating up the water to an amount where it would convert into petrol, you could also uh, use this build to actually produce sour gas instead. We need a temperature of 539 degrees Celsius for that. Let me cheat this just into this room. Let's say... I think 800 would be fine. Paint. Let's check. No, it didn't work. Ah, oh, I'm in a misjudgment here. That's Kelvin. So we're gonna need what was the temperature again? 530. Yeah, yeah, a bit, just a bit higher. My base. Eight. Let's say 900 for the sake. So 900, so we have a little reserve. We have, yeah, 626 degrees Celsius in here. And again, I'm adding, I'm gonna add a bit of water, just 10 kilograms. And before we add additional material into this oil well room, I will just remove the petroleum. So see again, 10 kilograms of water added to the system sucked in by the pump already slowed down by just one kilogram uh, per second and let's see what's happening in the oil well room again and what we're gonna expect is that instead of the water turning into petroleum it will directly transfer into a sour gas but let's check if that really happens. So the water is close now. Slow down a bit. Let's see the dynamic moment as well. There we got the water. There we got the petroleum. And as you can see the petroleum will also convert into sour gas as well. Now the water has been entirely consumed and instead we received sour gas. So actually the same build can be used as a sour gas bil uh, boiler as well. And that leaves me with some thinking about how much the sour gas actually will be in comparison with, with the uh, petroleum. This might actually be a power positive process as well as you, if you use the sour gas to actually create natural gas. But that's not part of this video. Um, I think it's, I have covered most of topics if you have any further questions please let me know uh, in the comment section otherwise i would appreciate if you just sub to the channel for more content thank you and goodbye